Welcome to the Urban Debate on Magic Bricks, now India's first property channel. I'm Fede Souza. Thank you for tuning in. Over 200 home buyers protested outside DB Realty offices in Mumbai last week. The reason? The North Goenka Managing Director of DB Realty had allegedly promised these home buyers a June delivery. They are much delayed the Hisar project DB Ozone. However, once again, the developer has gone back on that promise. This is what home buyers are telling us. The, the possession has indefinitely been postponed. DB Realty has told home buyers that the company apparently is short of funds and cannot complete the project. Disha Shah got in touch with protesting home buyers. This is what they had to say. As you can see right now, close to 3,500 buyers who have booked their flats with DB Realty's DB Ozone project in Daihisar are protesting because they allege that it's been more than four years they haven't got possession. What the builder is doing is, builder is continuously pushing dates and not giving one, one single date to hand over these possessions to them. From almost seven years, I want to ask this question to Shahid Valwa, Vinod Goenka, Vipul Bansal and Mr. Gattu. You can tell me which flat is ready to stay in the TV. You can tell me that all are finished in the mode. There is no one building is ready. There is no one building is ready. We have been very patient with them because for the last one, one and a half years, we have been having monthly meetings with the CEO here. And every time he was saying that he will give the position on March, starting from March. After March, it's just going berserk. Like every time we talk to them, they give new targets. So there is, there is, we, we have lost faith in DB Realty. I was there in the meeting with Mr. Goyanga. Goyanga. I have raised all these questions, but his, Mr. Vipul Banzal simply refused to answer anything. About these extra charges also, about the position, they are not giving any firm answers. Oh, they, are, they, are, they are saying they are short of funds. What are they waiting for? They want some buyer to hang themselves and then they will open their eyes? It's 3,000 flat we are talking about. You understand one flat will have five individuals. It's 15,000, 20,000 people struggling here. And they are still sleeping, they are giving the false promises. We are in Jabdi, 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 we are in Jabdi. I booked a house in 2009, Madam. Today, I'm living on rent. In Jogeshwari, I'm paying 50,000 rent and 2 lakhs deposit I have given. We are contemplating for national, we are contemplating for state legal commission. We are contemplating all kinds of actions. So it will be a legal battle that we are sure. But at the same time, this kind of agitation also we are going to perform. I have sent both of my two rooms here. I have sent both of my two rooms here. I have sent both of my two rooms here. I have sent both of my two rooms here. I have sent both of my two rooms here. रेंट भी भर रहे हो यहाँ के स्लेब का पैसा भी भर रहे हो मेरी 24 लाख की लोन भी चालू है ऐसा नहीं है कि बिल्डर के पास पैसा नहीं है उसने बड़े बड़े प्रीमियम प्रोजेक्ट्स अभी चल रहे हैं सब जगह ऑनलाइन चल रहा है वहाँ पे कुछ प्रोजेक्ट्स में वो हेलीकॉप्टर राइट्स दिलवाते हैं अपने प्रोस्पेक्टिव कस्टमर को जिन्होंने पैसा नहीं दिया और हमने 90 परसेंट पैसा देने के बाद हमें आज भी हमारा प्रोसेशन डेट पता नहीं है वी वांट आवर चीफ मिनिस्टर टू कम फॉरवर्ड एंड इंटरविन दिस प्रॉब्लम आई थिंक ओनली दिस इज द लास्ट सोल्यूशन इन अडिशन टू लीगल इफ चीफ मिनिस्टर कम्स एंड इंटरविन एंड रिसेंट और प्रॉब्लम मैडम मैं अपनी बहू लाना चाहता हूँ लाऊँ कहाँ रोड पर लाऊँ बहू को तो बार बार रिश्ता हमारा लड़के का टूट रहा है लोग समझते क्या बात है फैमिली प्रॉब्लम है कुछ इसमें गड़बड़ है लेकिन मैं शादी करूँ लाऊँ कहाँ रखूँ कहाँ अभी दस बाई दस के रूम में सलम में मैं रहता हूँ मेरी फैमिली के साथ अगर बहू को लाऊँ तो कहाँ रखूँ हम जाए रोड पर सोने के लिए जाए तो हमारे मन में सुसाइड करने का विचार आता है ये ना मिलने से अच्छा तो जो है दुनिया छोड़ दो ये तो मिलने से रहा कब मिलेगा but project delays remain our big focus here on the urban debate tonight. 3,500 buyers of the DB Realty Ozone project in Dahisar in Mumbai are waiting some more. They've been waiting for four years for their homes that they booked back in 2008, paying EMIs on their home loans while they continue to live in rented accommodation. How much longer are they going to have to wait? Is it time for them to finally just take legal recourse and no longer give the developer the benefit of doubt. Joining me on the show this evening, Uday Vavikar, Vice President of the Consumer Court Bar Association, Maharashtra and Goa, Mohit Bansali, Advocate at High Court, Mumbai. Sahil Sethi is a Senior Associate at Sai Krishna and Associates. He joins me from Delhi. And of course, we have home buyers of DB Realty who join us from Mumbai. Uday Vavikar, you're listening to this case right now. And before we go any further, I want to remind our viewers that we have been in conversation with DB Realty. They refuse to come on the show. Nobody from that company wants to appear on the show and answer questions themselves. But this is what DB Realty has told us in response to our question. They said that a month ago, DB Realty told us that they will begin handing over apartments in three months, which would be the 15th of August, and they expect to deliver the first phase of this project in 12 months flat. They say they continue to maintain those deadlines, that four buildings of phase one, 95% of the work is complete on four buildings of phase one. That's what DB Realty is telling us. 
They plan to hand over all of phase one within the year. They also say that phase two, work on phase two will then subsequently begin. And they've said that they respond to all emails and all phone calls that are coming from in from home buyers right now. They say that many factors have uh, led to this delay, but they're going to address all of those factors. Uday Bhavikar, home buyers complaining that they've been waiting for four years and they're now being asked to wait longer. Very serious uh, uh, situation. I can understand people have put hard on money. A uh, lot of futures are attached to the new residences. Their dreams are real, literally fallen apart and see the fellow who cannot even marry a son because he doesn't have adequate place. Uh, problem is, builders advertise, builders sell dreams. Maharashtra Flat Ownership Act says that under Schedule 5 of MOFA, you can't take more than two years for construction. That's the standard time allowed hmm. by the Act, statutorily. And builders take more than 20% which they are not allowed to take. They take the entire amount or 50% of the amount in the beginning. And finally, a consumer does not get his uh, roof, which is a very, very serious situation. This act, as Supreme Court says, Consumer Protection Act is a silver line to a common man. There are a lot of judgments are coming, which are consumer let's, friendly. Let's, let's, but check, Uday Bhavika, let's take, like, take a look at the uh, status of their case right now. And I want to understand what help we can give yes. these uh, home buyers. Yes. Mohit Bansali, you've been representing these, uh, these home buyers. Tell us what the status of their case is right now. And why are they having to wait so long for any justice? Yes, I have been representing a few flood buyers mm. before the State Commission. A few flood buyers may file a complaint before National Commission as well. The status that on last occasion the advocate who is appearing for the DB sought time to file their reply. So this is at this stage when the DB realty has to file their reply in the court. Okay. Yeah, this right. is the stage. Fe, can yes, I say please. I also have represented certain buyers and uh, I'll tell you those buyers have finally taken their refund with uh, whatever interest that DB Realities gives and they settle the matter. But that is not the solution. Today the solution is to give the roof back to the consumers because they will not get the flat at that rate. Fortunately, you asked me a question how we can help. Yes. There are two ways. We yes. can fi file a class action petition as one of uh, the... Right, you know because the thing that worries me is that Mohit Bansali has some uh, clients who are home buyers at DB Realty. You have some clients. Shouldn't there be one case where all exactly. 3,500 families exactly. come together? Against Balaji Builders, we are filing in National Commission 150 buyers together a case. There are several cases admitted by National Commission. In fact, now National Commission is thinking whether these cases should be sent back to the Forum and State Commission without involving a pecuniary jurisdiction. In a simple language, I'll mean? explain. Yeah. One crore flat, if your price of the flat is one crore and above, you have to go to Delhi. Mm. So even if your flat is about 20 lakh and 10 people uh, file, so right. you go to two crores. Right. Therefore, you are filing a class action petition only before National Commission. Mm. What are they saying is, even if you file one complaint, and that is still to come, and it will come, but this is in the pipeline, right. and there are some judgments which are really uh, good for us, that even if you file 10, 15 people, or 20 people, or 100 people before the State Commission, suppose State Commission limit is 20 lakh. Okay. Then those tw individually, the uh, pecuniary jurisdiction will be considered not added to the group. Okay. Only that will avoid the multiplicity uh, of the litigation. So basically right instead now of filing advice... 20 cases, Fay, I am completing. Instead of filing 20 cases, you file one case, file one but they will be considered as 20 cases for the consideration of pecuniary jurisdiction. All right. To it's avoid important, the it's problem. important right now that all 3,500 home buyers, all families unite with one case, if you can. That will increase your clout. I want to hear from the home buyers right now. We spoke to these home buyers about a month ago. We understood that as soon as the show was done, the day after the show was done, the management of DB Realty met with the Association of Home Buyers and promised them a speedier construction and delivery of that project. I want to understand from the home buyers who are on the show what sort of construction have you seen take place over the last one month since we last spoke? Hello, yeah, this is Vishal, a home buyer from uh, DB Ozone. 
we have been uh, having some site meetings post the uh, meeting with Mr. Goenka also, but we do not see any significant improvement from whatever uh, the scenario was around a month back. There are hardly any workers uh, there. The, I mean, the uh, status of the building is again status quo. There is no progress that uh, we can see. And again, I mean, uh, in, uh, despite we see that the picture is clear that there, there is nothing is going to happen. There, uh, the site in just still uh, commits that we will be able to give the position by June, uh, June 16, which is in all probabilities impossible. All right. I also want to understand from the home buyers, have you been in conversation with DB Realty? What are they telling you right now about a fresh possession date? See, they are still, I mean, even in our the position of first, first building, they are not committing anything about the rest of the uh, buildings. And uh, having said that, but even the position of the first building, uh, looking at the situation and looking at the ground realities, it is difficult that they will be able to give this position of the first building itself in the next uh, four to five months. So we can, I mean, well uh, imagine what would be the position date for the remaining 24, 25 buildings. The remaining 24 and 25 buildings. We I want to also interested. tell the home buyers who can now hear me clearly what the response has been that DB Realty has given us. We got in touch with DB Realty just before the show began. They told us that they are standing by and maintaining the deadline that they will hand over all of phase one starting the next three months by the end of this year. They said work on phase two will begin subsequently after the handover of phase one. Four buildings in phase one are 95% complete. Work is going on constantly and they hope to only, they, they said only the furnishing and uh, the lifts is the work that's left in uh, the four buildings of phase one after which they will begin phase two. And they've said that all emails and phone calls that they have received from buyers have been addressed and have been responded to. Is that the experience that you've had as well, home buyers? They have taken 89% of payment from us hmm. and the work is not seen there. Some of the buildings are not even having water tanks and uh, the slabs are not completed, the water tanks are not there, the lifts are not there. You can see, you can go at the site and see what is the condition there. It is very difficult, very puzzled how they are going to give us the position. They are, uh, every time they are giving us the new dates, they are not giving anything in the writing. Alright, nothing in, in writing? Go ahead. By no way, I mean, what, they, what their claim is totally false. They, we, uh, what is the yeah, I mean, uh, whatever their claim is, uh, the 95% claim is totally false. We are uh, yet to see any significant progress and we still, uh, may, uh, I mean, uh, even for the, uh, for, for, uh, if you, uh, as far as the entire project is concerned, the work done is around 60 to 65% only. All right, around 60 to 65%. I'll bring in Sayal Sethi here as well. If these home buyers do unite and move to the National Commission, what advice would you give them right now about this case? Because there are sm there are piecemeal cases. I completely cases agree with my friend. Right yes, go ahead, Sai. I completely agree with my friend who said that all of them should come together in a single complaint in a class action complaint. Though I do uh, disagree with him on the aspect of uh, jurisdiction, but that's a legal argument, be it Bombay or Delhi. But as he rightly pointed out, the National Commission today is forming a larger bench. That is, five judges of the National Commission will sit and decide that if a class action complaint is filed, where should it lie? Should it lie directly before the National Commission or should it lie before the respective state commissions? My view should be that the National Commission should take a broader view of it and they should allow them uh, buyers to come directly to the National Commission, thereby cutting down a hierarchy of judiciary because see, every stage of uh, forum takes about two, three years, which makes the battle too long. And that is the reason maximum buyers hesitate in going to the forums. So I think uh, they should get together and they should directly approach the National Commission because from there on the next stage is directly the Supreme Court. So the, it cuts down the chain of uh, hierarchy of judiciary and thereby cutting down the time, thereby bringing an earlier resolution. So I definitely agree on one aspect that they should definitely get together. Though I disagree with my friend on the aspect of where should they go with a class action or a group complaint. You know, uh, Uday Bhavika, the other question I'll, I have for you, yeah, okay, go ahead. I'll, I'll explain my learned friend. Uh, my learned friend, I have correctly said and I thank you for that, that National Commission is now forming the bench to consider this and this should be considered. As on as things stands today, we have to file in National Commission. But there is a judgment while deciding a pecuniary jurisdiction, which is the limit of filing, 
uh, even if three four people file together we, they should look at the individual as if it is an individual complaint to avoid the multi so that is exactly what the... i'm that is exactly okay. what i'm saying sir i'm aware of the judgment but there are contrary judgments as well and now the national Correct. commission is setting okay. up a larger so, so we are at one point for and you are with but that's me. a legal issue the right. point that's is be it the national commission or the state the commission the bias should approve buyers. some I'll, kind uh, of a forum I, I want to understand from the home buyers right now you have the option of claiming interest on your payment or perhaps taking your money back from DB Realty. Is that an option that you want? I want to understand from you as home buyers, what do you want? Do you want your money back at this point? Do you want to get out of this deal that you've signed with the company? Or do you want your homes as soon as possible? If you're going to move to any of the courts, what is your plea? We want our we want our homes. We don't want to uh, take the money back. We don't want to uh, take any interest. We just want we have booked uh, a flat. We have paid for the flat. So we just want to get our home as soon as possible. As now they are saying, uh, building number one to four, they'll be delivering next three months. I personally visit the site. We do the inspection. I can guarantee it, it's not ever possible for them. There is not even door has been done in building number one. There is no, the windows have been fitted in building number one. Building number two, three, four is nowhere in their reach. There is nothing been painted. There is no flooring completed as per the slab. There is no order for windows, doors and lift. We have only one lift door have been completed. The shutters, which we say of our building number one and inside there is nothing been done. So I personally feel it will take six months and more for them to just give the first one to four building like if i would request if somebody from any channel of your guys can visit the site and see the reality because there is nowhere that the work is going in full fridge or uh, full stream or maybe 100 workers there is a slow start they have done and i'm still hoping building number one will come to position by october and there is no oc kind of stuff there is no podium there is no uh, passage for people to walk if they give the position, it will be a fit out position. You take the keys, do the interior. There will be no water, no electricity as for now. And there is no been meter been fixes. Uh, they have just applied for meter for electricity. Mm. There is no water tank for building number four. Uh, so I don't know how they're going to live if you take the position. I want to know how many so of I, the I home buyers who've gathered right now are from phase two or from phase three? Uh, from phase one to four, we are around 200 people, and in total of we are 1,000 people from all the phases right now. What what response active. have you received from the company about phase two or phase three, or you know any of the other buildings that are not even near completion? Because our team visited the site, and we're we're running footage of that site on the screen right now. We can see these homes are not anywhere near completion. What is the company telling you about those buildings? Has there been any sort of commitment on when they'll be able to hand them over? Uh, there is no commitment. They said we are focusing on building number one now and within next one month we'll get you the schedule for building number two, three and four. Uh, we are talking to vendors. We are arranging funds. I think this is beyond what a boy, home buyer should know. We are not caring about where you get the funds from and where you get the vendor from. Uh, we are paid 89% everybody from each building. There was no face payment. There was no day payment. It was a slab payment for each of us. So we don't care how do you do it. Like they are saying we'll do, we are in uh, arranging funds, uh, we are applied for loan. So it's very uh, disheartening for us. Like we have been charged the interest of 21% if we delay a week's payment on the slab. Like many of us have paid interest of 21%. Like if I get a slab payment on uh, Monday, I have to pay by next two days. And if I don't pay, they charge us 21%. And here there has been seven years of delay. There is a kind of person they're giving in return is 9%, take your money and go back. So is there something they are very open to us, like go legal, uh, take your money back and they are very happy to see us uh, going legal. This is what we I feel and they when want you to give home. When you take your money not... back at 9%, that's 9% per year for every year of delay. Can you explain that clause to us? No, we received an email from them that, that uh, you, uh, their option is uh, 
open and uh, any buyer if you if he wants to surrender his flat he can surrender his flat and they will pay the money for, with the 9 per, uh, 9 9% rate of uh, interest but okay. then uh, one of our buyer approach db house for surrendering his flat at that time they are not ready to give uh, uh, give the uh, even 9% as well they are saying that they don't have the funds so what what does this mean you know this this sort of behavior from any company just really is really really upsetting for consumers uh, mohit bansali uday vavekar and uh, sail what i want you to do right now is to work out a legal option for these buyers uday vavekar 21% 21% interest if a buyer misses a deadline there's no penalty because the last time we checked with this company and we asked them are you going to pay any sort of compensation to your buyers they said there are no plans of paying compensation to buyers because contracts do not include compensation on delay so they have a clause there that includes a 21% interest on delay from a customer side there's no clause at all that uh, you know has any sort of compensation for the home buyer and now they're saying i'll give you 9% interest take your money and go now these people bought two bedroom homes in dahisar Seven years ago, at thirty-five or forty lakh rupees, what will forty lakh rupees buy them in the in the in Dahisar today? Nothing. You are hundred percent. How is this an option? Hundred percent correct way, but the act is also improving to the needs of the society, especially consumer uh, judgments. Uh, there are three things they can do to really help them. Number one is if they have taken some flats on the rent, they can go. and ask an interim relief in their complaint saying that all the rents that they have given okay. and the future rent should be paid by the builder i'm giving you a practical suggestion which can be done on interim relief so and all rent that has been paid in the delayed uh, period has yes. to be claimed from the developer yes as a interim relief in fact okay. in one of the societies in mumbai where uh, honorable national commission president and the bench passed the order mm. that uh, the all the property taxes and the extra charges for water for not having the oc and the electricity should be reimbursed by the builder immediately forthwith and pay every month so therefore uh, there and they were reimbursed and this is vibhav society and surya kiran society of dahisar only so therefore i am naming the judgment mm. and uh, interim order that is passed second issue they can do is if they uh, the interest you are absolutely right it is an unfair term on one on one side they are taking 22% and they are offering 9% is totally unfair 9% is under mofa when force marge the project will have to be cancelled mm. where there are things beyond control like earthquake tsunami then 9% but otherwise or on demand by a person when a builder can't complete for various such reasons but not otherwise so therefore there are 18 to 24% interest given right from gaziabad development authority by you the you know but i don't want these buyers to wait exactly i'm coming to the third thing fe yes. and that is most important is people now can ask and there are various judgment proportionate market value of what they have paid because if they go to buy and flat tomorrow mm. they they will need that proportionate market value of course you can't say if you have paid 90% you will get 90% proportionate market value of today mm. but the reasoning that courts are coming to is not by the market value but ready reckoner but most of the time the ready reckoner or adjudication value is much nearer to market okay. value today so you are we are compensated okay. better all right sail city a class action suit where you claim the rent that has been paid in an interim relief and of course proportionate market value or the ready reckoner market value of uh, of the home be claimed from the developer i want to understand from you how difficult is it to get a judgment like this in favor of of buyers fortunately it is not that difficult now definitely you one will have to keep some patience but uh, national commission unlike the normal civil courts works faster and a judgment is generally expected within a 15 to 18 month period it is not at all difficult the commission is very very compassionate to rights of consumers the commission, the benches are very very aware of what has been happening in the country and uh, they definitely seem to have come to a consensus in order to uh, resolve the situation in the best possible way they can but their difficulty is they can only do something about it when somebody approaches them so i don't think it is uh, difficult the suggestion made by my friend in terms of interim relief as well as the final relief are absolutely acceptable and they have definitely there are judgments which have been uh, given to that effect All right. Oh, also, there's only one thing that I want to yes. say further. There's only one thing that I want to say further. There was a debate. There was a certain question that has been raised here, 
as regards whether to still wait for your apartments or to take refund hmm. now i completely understand that there might be buyers who might have come you might have waited for so many years that now they are no longer interested in that property or, or have actually lost all kind of hope uh for those buyers i want to just caution them against not accepting any kind of an unfair offer again from the builder be it for instance 9% is something that is completely unfair you won't be able to get an alternate property in that and second thing is in case you go for a refund please ensure that all your money comes in straight way in one single installment because what i've seen in in refund settlements uh, sometimes the builders promises to pay them in the installments and you will get the first but you might not get the others and then you will fight for those installments so please be very very do not lose your right in the apartment till the time you are completely sure of the money that you are going to get All right, I want to bring in the home buyers again. You've heard the advice that the lawyers are giving you right now. File a class action suit, which is can combine all three thousand five hundred home buyers in one suit. Ask for the rent to be paid interim. All of the rent that you're paying right now should be paid by the developer. Proportionate market value of the home that you've bought, not what you paid for seven years ago, but what it's worth today. And of course, do not accept any sort of installments if you are surrendering your flat. Do not expect accept any installments from the developer. Have the developer pay everything in one go. I want to understand from the home buyers: Is this advice that you can take? Is there a possibility that you can inv- you can unite all three thousand five hundred home buyers under one case and file it together? Yeah, we can file, but now uh, there is one buyer who is uh, whose name is Bipin Misri. Now he is uh, suffering with cardiac arrest. He is going to be uh, 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 for his bypass surgery in next week. So who will take the responsibility of him? Either uh, DB Realty will take the responsibility, or government will take the responsibility. Who is responsible for what he is suffering? Well, of course, this is this is the larger problem of the fact that these buyers have been suffering for the last six or seven years. Each of them is the responsibility of the government, and on some level, I think the state government should also take account of what's happening here. Uh, you know, Mohit Bansali, what what response can we give these home buyers other than to just give them legal options? Right now, the state government has not taken a you know any sort of responsibility. We're getting the same responses from the company over and over again. Whenever we get in touch with DB Realty, they say we are focusing our energies. We are going to try and deliver as soon as possible. But we know that there, that the work sites that they have in Lower Parel, the work sites that they have in Worli, are moving much faster, and there's a lot more attention on the more expensive buildings at this point. Who takes responsibility for home buyers? Yeah, correct. It's time to take. this initiative that who is ultimately responsible i must say that the system which permits the builder mm. and other person to commit such kind of defaults now first of all as uh, rightly said that the construction is uh, required to be completed within 24 months or 36 months from the date of cc and here despite the builder promise to give the possession on particular date and he flouts so there has to be a law like rera is now coming and we need to take a stringent action that we need all the flat buyers to unite take action in fact instead of sitting idle sleeping over their right law never help them who sleeps over their right mm. we have to be diligent take and as you rightly ask for that what relief we can ask for and what are the available reliefs given based on the citation of the court right. yes uh, the rent which they have already incurred certainly it's not because of their fault that they were compelled to incur it's fault because of they were not given the position mm-hmm. on time mm-hmm. they were compelled to give second thing that oh, is there future, a criminal angle to all of this yes absolutely can the yes. builder be held accountable yes. from a criminal point of view yes yes there is a provision under mofa itself that if promoter willfully delay the project how do we prove willful delay uh like suppose if i am a builder i'll give an example if i am a builder and i have committed a promise to give the position in the year 2014 it's my primary duty to inform the flat purchasers look this is the reason that the government has stopped me the corporation has stopped me like i don't have the fund i have to offer reasons for yes. the delay yes if a right. person is not offering a delay sitting on the cash paid by the flat buyers hmm. the intention is very visible 
that what is the reason and why the delay project has been delayed. This is the classic example and we can infer the intention of the builder from the conduct. Mm. I don't think so any flat buyers received any letter from the builder that this is a specific reason because of which uh, the project is delayed. It clearly have, have shows. Have the home buyers received a communication from the developer citing specific reasons for delay, asking for extensions on, uh, you know, on their deadlines? Yeah, see, uh, so whatever communication we have been receiving from DB Realty is very standard and very generic. Mm -hmm. All we are hearing from DB Realty is the reasons are beyond our control. I mean, uh, beyond our control is something uh, which we don't understand because mm -hmm. uh, projects nearby, there are projects uh, from different developers uh, just opposite DB Realty, they are getting completed. Other projects in that area are getting completed. People uh, are getting their flats, but only the reasons beyond the control are only applicable to DB Realty. That's something baffling. Uh, let me highlight one more uh, point here. Uh, is that uh, we're talking about financial implications. We talked, uh, somebody mentioned about a medical issue to one of the buyer. Mm. Uh, other than that, there are big social issues as well. I mean, uh, we have a lot of buyers who are united. And these buyers are facing a lot of problems, okay? Uh, for example, somebody uh, who has a daughter is not able to get her married. There's somebody uh, who is separated from his son because he cannot live, him, live with him together in a 2BHK flat. Uh, there is a lady, old lady, who has uh, two sons. Uh, those sons are not able to live together. So financial implications are there uh, that can be compensated some or the other way. But there are a lot of social implications uh, which are not even being thought about by the builder. So when he says uh, he'll deliver on X date and that date get missed, missed out, and uh, there are so many families who are waiting for that particular date uh, with a lot of hope. So that should also be considered. And uh, I mean, on the panel, I think there are a lot of people who are uh, uh, talking about a lot of legal options. Uh, what can be done by the social options as well? I mean, uh, can, can that can be some way be compensated? I don't think so. Well, that's, that's the big thing, the social uh, implication of what happens when projects are delayed for a developer. It's a project, it's part of the business, it's cash flow, it's cement or it's steel. But for home buyers, it's so much more than that. When you delay a project past five years, the person's entire life plan has to be changed. Children have to go to school. Children get admission in school next to that project and the project is not ready. People are looking forward to weddings. People are looking forward to life goals that are meant to happen in their new home and the project is not ready. There are old people who look forward to retiring in their homes and the project is not ready. I want, I want our audience to one more time listen to the people we spoke to from the DB Realty Ozone Project understand the kind of pain we're dealing with here for 3,500 families who've been waiting for a home for over seven years from a developer who won't even appear on the show and answer their questions. I'll ask my producer to play out those, those, uh, you know, those responses one more time because I want you to understand the kind of pain we're talking about here. From almost seven years, I want to ask this question to Shahid Walwa. Vinod Goenka, Vipul Bansal and Mr. Gattu, you tell me which flat is ready and remain in the TV interview that all are finished more finish more. There is no one building is ready. One have been very patient with them because for the last one, one and a half years we have been having monthly meetings with the CEO here and every time he was saying that he'll give the position on March, starting from March. After March, it's just going berserk. Like every time we talk to them, they give new targets. So there is, there is, we, we have lost faith in DB Realty. I was there in the meeting with Mr. Goyanga. Goyanga. I have raised all these questions, but his, Mr. Vipul Banzal simply refused to answer anything about these extra charges also, about the position. They are not giving any firm answers. Oh, they are, they are, they are saying they are short of funds. What are they waiting for? They want some buyer to hang themselves and then they will open their eyes? It's 3,000 flat we are talking about. You understand one flat will have five individuals. It's 15,000, 20,000 people struggling here. And they're still sleeping, they're giving the false promises. I think it's on one BHK. I'm looking at one BHK. I'm looking at one BHK. I'm looking at one BHK. I booked a house in 2009. Madam, today I'm living on rent. In Jogeshwari, there's one room kitchen. I'm paying 50,000 rent and two lakhs deposit I have given. We are contemplating for national, we are contemplating for state legal commission. 
we are contemplating all kind of actions so it will be a legal battle that we are uh, sure but at the same time this kind of agitation also we are going to perform maine apni chawal ki dono room bech kar yahan par flat likhwaya hai maine 35000 mein apni dono room bech kar yahan par do flat likhwaye aaj mere paas 1 rupya nahi hai 7 saal se main apna rent bhi bhar rahi hu yahan ke slab ka paisa bhi bhar rahi hu meri 24 lakh ki loan bhi chalu hai aisa nahi hai ki builder ke paas paisa nahi hai usne bade bade premium projects abhi chal rahe hain sab jagah online chal raha hai वहाँ पे कुछ प्रोजेक्ट्स में वो हेलीकॉप्टर राइड्स दिलवाते हैं अपने प्रोस्पेक्टिव कस्टमर को जिन्होंने पैसा नहीं दिया और हमने 90 परसेंट पैसा देने के बाद हमें आज भी हमें प्रोसेशन डेट पता नहीं है वी वांट आवर चीफ मिनिस्टर टू कम फॉरवर्ड एंड इंटरविन दिस प्रॉब्लम आई थिंक ओनली दिस इज द लास्ट सोल्यूशन इन अडिशन टू लीगल इफ चीफ मिनिस्टर कम्स एंड इंटरविन एंड रिसेंट और प्रॉब्लम मैडम मैं अपनी बहू लाना चाहता हूँ लाऊँ कहाँ रोड पर लाऊँ बहू को तो बार बार रिश्ता हमारा लड़के का टूट रहा है लोग समझते क्या बात है फैमिली प्रॉब्लम है कुछ इसमें गड़बड़ है लेकिन मैं शादी करूँ लाऊँ कहाँ रखूँ कहाँ अभी दस बाई दस के रूम में सलम में मैं रहता हूँ मेरी फैमिली के साथ अगर बहू को लाऊँ तो कहाँ रखूँ हम जाए रोड पर सोने के लिए जाएँ तो हमारे मन में सुसाइड करने का विचार आता है ये ना मिलने से अच्छा तो जो है दुनिया छोड़ दो ये तो मिलने से रहा कब मिलेगा दैट इज स्टेट ऑफ होपलेसनेस अमॉन्ग द बायर्स ऑफ डी बी रियलिटी एंड आई अपील आई हैव टू अपील्स हियर I appeal to the management of DB Realty to come forward and speak to us on camera. Come forward and tell us what the problem is. What are these unavoidable circumstances that have impacted you and your company and that have kept you from fulfilling your promises? Offer us fresh dates of delivery. That's all we want. These home buyers just want their homes. Homes that they have paid for, homes that they are paying interest on loans for. All they want is a date of delivery. Come in and give us a date. My second appeal is to the state government, to the Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis and his team to intervene. It's not enough to sit back and say that you've passed a regulator that will take a month or two months, three months. In the meantime, here are home buyers who need your attention and home buyers who need your help. Come forward and help us. My appeal is to the state government and to DB Realty. Enough is enough. You should be accountable for this project because you've collected the money. You are accountable to your customers and you are accountable to the state. Come forward and tell us what the problem is and what you are doing to solve it. Telling us that you will finish wishy washy willy nilly in the next 3 4 months is just not enough. It is not something that we are going to be happy with and it's certainly not something that your consumers are going to be happy with. Uday Bhavikar one thing is of course to quantify the rent that has been paid. How do you quantify the emotional state of torture that these people are going through consumer court is an equity court and therefore uh, the mental harassment and agony is i, I am uh, you are absolutely right one can't quantify but to the maximum extent what can be given looking at the conduct of the builder the national commission or even state commission has come heavily even to the tune of some lakhs Uh, giving the compensations db i mean apart from db realities you know the unfair terms uh, on the, the, builder, the competition you know, you commission the thing that upsets me about this case is uh, where is the builder fe, 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 where is he is not even coming forward and talking to us this bad. sort of attitude must be punished i am totally agreeing with you in fact i have another suggestion apart from yes. being a lawyer yes. i am also disha foundation president of a, of a of an ngo i think now is high time that people should also go to various authorities make right of information as to how the other project which have started afterwards are elite projects have been given permissions why are you giving or move or repeatedly stopping yes. those permissions why is this developer getting permissions to launch new projects in the city exactly. of mumbai all over the city of mumbai and nobody is asking those authorities to ask if the previous project is not complete how are you giving permissions to the new new projects and the other projects are getting more and more approvals whereas the no. old projects are incomplete people are on the roads bmc needs to come forward and answer that exactly. question mohit bansali i have another question for you db realty is turning around and saying these is all causes are beyond their control what are these causes that are beyond their control what could it possibly be when lotha across the street from this project has finished a project started at the same time handed over people have been living there for years what could have possibly happened to db realty which is beyond their control if a man has to give the position there would not be any excuse and if it is been decided that not to give th there has to be excuse so mohit bansali in the case that you are fighting right now against db realty what justification has the company's representative legal representative offered to the court nothing nothing because there is nothing so they cannot uh, offer any reason and as far as the clause uh, which uh, they are relying upon that the circumstances beyond their control 
So specifically it has been mentioned, there, those are the circumstances like there is any vis major, earthquake, a shortage of steel and cement. That possibility. But shortage of steel and cement has question. to be proved, right? Shortage of no, steel and cement. It's, if it's everybody else in the neighborhood. common understanding. If project in all uh, uh, around Mumbai is going on in full swing, yes. the only for this project that the, there was a shortage. It can't be digestible. And as far as I'm concerned, it is not the home buyer's responsibility. These people who have joined us on the screen yeah, right people now. People are taking technical uh, assistance. No, but it, it's yeah. not available. As a builder, as a builder's lawyer, if I sometimes look at it, you know, what are those technical objections that they come out with? Is apart from the uncontrollable the prices and steel and etc. There's a standard thing that the people have paid late than the installments. And therefore, they are saying that there is a novation of contract. They are aware of our delay, but they have now paid late. Therefore, there, there's a permission this, this granted. Developer, this so, developer, Uday Vavikar, in this case, is a willful defaulter. Absolutely, I agree there with you. There was no shortage of the, cement and steel in the rest of the city of Mumbai. There are, are the developers excuses. across the street who have managed to yes. give in um, their buildings on time. There was, no, there was no earthquake. There was no flood. There was no, you know, force majeure that what I am sure all of the lawyers yes, call yes, it. There's yes, yes, none yes, of those none cases. Of this is a willful defaulter. This is, as far as I'm concerned... But, um, but Faye, we are not looking at financial angles. I'm a financial executive ex. The, the builders, I will not name in case of DV perhaps, but most of the builders who are qualified chartered accountants and others are dealers in money market and they enjoy the float and get 36% on people's money. And this, this project money, because there is no astro account, can be utilized to other projects. We do not know. We'll have to check. No, I just heard yes. that uh, the financial constraint, one of the reasons being given. But I failed to understand when a builder has collected 90% amount and the construction cost is approximately not even half of that collection. Less than so wh where is the question that there is a still financial constraint when you where have already collected? When you are offering free helicopter rides to prospective buyers in your project in South Mumbai, saying if you want to see the view that you will get from the floor that you have picked, I will take you up in a helicopter so you can mm. see the real view. So if you have money for helicopter rides, for people who haven't even bought homes with you, so, where is the question of financial, uh, any sort of financial pressure on your system? So one logic which, uh, which appears to my mind that the fund been transferred from this to project to another project. Or that is the only reason for delay. Returns in the money markets. Sahil Zeti, Sahil Zeti is listening uh, very quietly. Tell us here the emotional and mental See, state what of I, what affairs. I, what I find personally very amusing is, what I find personally very amusing is, that uh, how is it that each and every developer, let's say 90 or 95% of the developer has a similar response to give when questioned about delay. It actually seems like all of them sat on a table, decided to uh, defraud people and then had a similar modus of operate. I'll tell you what the it case is, it's because lawyers are drafting those responses for them, which is why they all sound the same. So, no, no, it, it is, I'm saying the reasons are also the same. They all say they don't have money. It can't be that 90 to 95% of the companies today, developing companies today are into a financial crisis. What I'm trying to say is this model, basically, all the developers have taken advantage of the fact that this model, in this model, there was zero enforcement from the state authority side. There was zero diligence before allotting lands. There was zero diligence before giving permissions to these people to collect money from people in the name of development or projects. So all of them have actually taken advantage of failure of the state machine machinery because they realize that though there were laws there are laws in Maharashtra there are laws in UP there are laws in Haryana there was zero enforcement all throughout you know so I, I am I I refuse to believe that there can be any justifiable reason that can justify a delay of five years or six years and what what has been pointed out here is absolutely true for a lot of them that their commercial projects have actually worked very well their residential projects have actually done nothing and it seems like this is how this was an entire modus operandi. This is how they decided to operate because there was zero state machinery which was controlling them. So in it fact, was a free market, a free route in, market for them to in operate. In fact, I want to I want to understand from these home buyers how they feel about the fact that the multi crore rupee projects that DB Realty is selling in central and in in South Mumbai have very, very active construction sites. They have glowing lights. They have cranes that are moving constantly. They have obviously the full attention of the developer because we know that the people who are buying those homes are powerful people who are buying homes worth upwards of two, three, four, maybe more crore rupees. 
But at the same time, someone who's bought a home in Dahisar is receiving this sort of treatment after making their entire payment. I want to understand from the home buyers, how does that make you feel about the laws of this country, about the legal setup, about the way the state government and the local authorities are dealing with this company? We, uh, tension not clear about the, this DB management. Uh, they are they are saving lack lack of funds for here and they are giving chopper right there. We have booked the flats in 2009. They have promised to deliver in 2012. They have not delivered and now they are asking for additional funds also. It is around 1,000 per square feet in the name of infrastructure and development. So uh, are they delaying to seek these additional funds or what? We are we don't know. Uh, do they want that the, we sell our flats to them and then they sell it at the higher rate in, in the market? or uh, we just surrender and take back money at 9%. What is their intention? We don't know. They are charging 500 rupees per square feet for transfer fees also. So what is their intention? We just don't understand. For them, it is a business of eat ready cement. For us, it was a dream of having our own house in a city like Mumbai. But that is looking shattered now. And we are nowhere to go. J please help us. Please help us. Uday Bhavikar, you, I saw you nodding. The fact that today if DB Realty were to finish these apartments and sell them in the market, it would get a lot higher than the 35 lakh rupees these, or the 40 lakh rupees that they got seven years ago. Unfortunately, these are the motives of the builders. Uh, they are they are so, they know the rates of the flats are increasing. In Mumbai, 300% within 25 years, the rates of the flats have gone. No commodity, gold, silver or diamonds have gone up so much. Therefore, it is easy uh, temptation for builders that the first buyer should go away. They have utilized their funds. They have they have uh, they have constructed. They have got the free cost of the uh, finance for the projects. And now let them go out and let the new people come in. Mm. And the moment they go out with the nine percent interest or refund or lower prices. You are going to get enormous, uh, tremendous profit by the so increase forget rates. Forget the lower prices, Uday Bhavikar, they are charging a cancellation fee of 1 lakh rupees. That is something, uh, I a mean... A cancellation fee of 1 lakh rupees totally to these home buyers. It's totally unfair and I would say ridiculous in common parlance. I mean, this is this is like uh, ex a total exploitation, unscrupulous exploitation of a consumer. Unscrupulous exploitation of a consumer. Sayal Sethi, we are running out of time. Which is being time. allowed to go unchecked. Which is being allowed to go unchecked. That is the unfortunate part. I agree with Sai Krishna because... Even with the RERA, the RERA has come in after a lot of public pressure. But even in the RERA, now only 16 sections have been notified and the state governments have been given an year. What will happen in within this year? There is no machinery to take care hmm. of this situation within the year because the problem is immediate. There is no monitor. There was no monitoring authority for MOFA. Where is the monitoring authority for MOFA? Nowhere. The acts are good, but where is the implementation? Where is the will of the government? Where is the will of the government? Mohit Bansali, what is your advice uh, finally for these home buyers? I want words of advice from all three of our lawyers and home buyers here. I want you to take this advice very seriously because we've put this panel together to help you out. There's representation from every court here. So I want you to take this advice very seriously. Put together a group of people who will handle your class action suit. Uh, Mohit Bansali, if they are going to file a class action suit, of course, three or four of those, these home buyers are going to have to take responsibility for everybody else because not everybody can fly to Delhi and be part of, the, uh, of that case. They're going to have to form an association and a few representatives will have to take responsibility. Tell us what that process is. Right. Uh, it, it is called a class action. A class action that all the flat buyers who are available can file a composite complaint. And there is a provision in the Act, even if those flat buyers who are not available, they can ask for the leave of the court to join them as and when they come. Okay. And the court has the power after giving this leave, as uh, if I rightly recollect in the matter of Star TV, there was a case of a lottery. The court, the National Commission had taken a cognizance saying that if uh, this kind of act against one flat buyers and other flats buyers have not yet come, so the commission can take sumo to action against them based on one person's petition wherein the leave is obtained. So that as a question asked that the one person is a patient of Cardi, that can be taken care of. Uday uh, Bhavikar? To add to what Mohit said, what is more important is there are three ways of a class action petition. Number one is all of them can come together, sign and file a petition. But the difficulty is every time you have to get affidavit signed of all the people all the time. So they can form an organization, a welfare group 
or an any NGO, NGO, any organization which is called a non-profit making organization, but with an object of litigation with the builder and that has been done by me. So, we can form an organization and the organization can file the class action petition for all or these people can join together file, but then there is the little practical difficulty of service. They have to give the newspaper publications because there will be many other bias hmm. uh, which are unidentified and that is what is the heart of the class action. Under uh, order 1 rule 8, uh, we have to give the uh, 121C of the Consumer Protection Act section, we have to give the publication to the two newspaper, people who want to join us and if they join very well, otherwise you can proceed. And this is the way and if it is possible, now the five benches sitting of the National Commission, we can all go before the National Commission and request them that allow us to run it in the State Commission. It is uneconomical, uh, uneconomical for people to come to Delhi. Maybe right. we can make this plea. So, right. I think we have to act first. That is most important. These people will have to form a coordinating committee. They have to also go after authorities to ask how to as to why under a right of information as to why right. the permission was granted to other projects and why speeding work is allowed when these projects are not complete. There right. are various ways okay. including okay. interim reliefs. All right. Sayal Sethi, very quickly, what advice do you have for these home buyers right now? I completely agree, but I have I want to add to that. So, uh, we've already spoken about a class action show before the com uh, consumer forum, but I would also want to apprise them, the buyers, that please look into your agreements, see if you have arbitration clauses in those agreements. You can even initiate arbitration. You can even approach a civil court if you do not want to approach a consumer forum. If your state authority is not functioning, you can approach a high court in a writ petition. Mm. The bottom line is you. it is high time that you will have to act. Agitations and all are good at one go, but you will have to act, have some faith in the judicial machinery. This will take time, but eventually you will get what is rightfully yours. So it's high time that all the agitation and all, while it goes at one end, whatever route you may take, you please act. It's time to act. Uh, Mohd Bansali, was there an arbitration clause in the, in the contract? Yes, yeah, it's, it's standard format. There has to be arbitration clause and it is there. It is there. But right. arbitration becomes very costly. If so, you look so, at so that is another alternative that can be exercised. That is another alternative is there, that can Krishna, be exercised. But one has to be very practical. If uh, 2 lakhs and 3 lakhs per day on arbitration, which consumer can really afford? No, no, sir. Sir, what I am talking about, what I am uh, suggesting is that under a section 11 petition is made to the court and an arbitration is appoint, arbitrator is appointed by the court. And I think whoever the concerned arbitrator will take some consideration of the fact that uh, these buyers do, ha do not have Uday that Vavikar kind of money. Is so that Krishna, 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 Sahil Sethi, his name is Sahil Sethi. Sai, it is a best, uh, one of the options, but then practically what will be the fees of the arbitrator? No, no, I'm what saying, will I the agree, fees? I'm, and I'm if saying, it's a court appointed the arbitrator, forum, then isn't if, if that there is somebody... A... No, there is independent fee space to the arbitrator. And Sai knows what is the, what are the fees. Sahil? No, no, I know what is the fee, sir. What I'm saying is if the court appoints an arbitrator, there can always be a request that can be made to an arbitrator in a scenario like this. It is only a additional... See, if somebody does not want to go to a consumer no forum, I'm saying this is also something that you can keep in mind, seek legal advice on and pursue. Okay, all right. We've run out of time anyway, on this show. Consumer court is an additional remedy to arbitration. Supreme Court says so we can still and proceed in consumer remedy. court in spite of arbitration clause. All right. We've run out of time on this show. Uh, Absolutely. The home buyers, does this help? We will, of course, on your behalf, go to the state government and, and demand that the state government takes cognizance of this problem and comes up with a solution in the one year it's going to take to put together RERA. I want to understand from you what your steps are going to be next. Home buyers. Actually, most of the people we are going for, this, uh, going in state and most of the people who are go, even <coughs> going for, <coughs> going in national consumer also. And <coughs> hopefully we are trying our best so that we can reach uh, the courts and we can find out the solution and one more uh, which the question which arised uh, in my mind which I li like to ask you is there like any provision uh, in uh, like uh, the builder is, has uh, first he has told that he is going to charge 50 rupees square foot mm -hmm. and now he is telling, uh, telling that uh, 1000 rupees per square foot is going to charge so they can change it like that is it, charge, is it what uh, is this possible? charge for? Infrastructure and development. Regarding infrastructure charges. Infrastructure Regarding charges. Infrastructure Udai, Vavikar, charges. Can they change charges if, like if that? If they are not part of the agreement, they cannot levy this additional cost hmm. without taking consent of every buyer and this is unfair. I mean, uh, uh, right. there is no scope. There is no scope and it's unfair. We've run out of time on this show. 
uh, to the home buyers, this is my commitment that we will continue to put pressure on the company. We will continue to put pressure on the government to do something about this particular case. And of course, we will speak to various authorities to find out why this developer is still being given permission to launch projects across the city of Mumbai. I want to thank all three of our panelists for coming in and advising us on the legal aspects of this case. We stand by the home buyers. If there are home buyers watching this show who are buyers of TB Realty's Ozone Project, get in touch with us. We will help you join the home buyers who are already fighting and be part of that class action suit. It will help you get your home faster. Our contact details are on your screen right now. Thanks for watching. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic bricks now.